Hey, Ember Miners! Welcome back to the Ember Mine. Today, with the help of the CGL project, we are premiering a new possible series for you to enjoy. This series will focus on specific groups of prehistoric animals, and we'll be reviewing the species within these groups that have appeared in the Jurassic franchise. Today, we'll be covering the most infamous group of predatory dinosaurs, the Tyrannosauridae superfamily. Not to be confused with the family Tyrannosauridae, the Tyrannosauroidea superfamily covers multiple families of carnivorous dinosaurs that are seen throughout the films and expanded media. In this video, we'll be sticking to the canon and canon adjacent material. However, this may not be the case with some future videos. Starting with the Jurassic Park trilogy, members of Tyrannosauroidea appear in perhaps the most obscure locations. But if you know where to look, it turns out it's a very abundant group of dinosaurs. Starting with the first film, we are introduced to the type species of the two main families that make up the superfamily Tyrannosauridae. The first family, Proceratosauridae, stretched from the Middle Jurassic to the Early Cretaceous and included many popular species like Gwenlong, Eutyrannus, and the holotype species Proceratosaurus bradleyi. It is a small, wolf-sized carnivore from the Middle Jurassic, England. It appeared in the first film on the park's brochure map and the cryogenic freezer located in the visitor center's genetic lab. The second family of Tyrannosauridae only existed during the late Cretaceous, leaving a 38 million year gap between itself and Proceratosauridae. It included close relatives of T Rex, such as Despolitosaurus and Lythronax. Its holotype species, Tyrannosaurus rex, is perhaps the most famous dinosaur that ever lived. It lived at the very end of the late Cretaceous in what is now modern-day North America, and has appeared throughout the entire franchise in every single film, game, and television series. The Tyrannosaurus rex that appears throughout the entire franchise is based on the specimen AMNH5027, whose likeness is used in the Jurassic Park logo and the cover for Michael Crichton's novels. More Tyrannosaurids have appeared around the time of the first trilogy in video games, such as Jurassic Park Trespassers Albertosaurus, an apex predator from Canada's late Cretaceous Dinosaur Park formation, and an even larger amount derived from the nursery on Isla Aventura located in Universal Studios Discovery Center, which expands the list to include Allioramus remotus, a small Asian Tyrannosaur which is closely related to the popular Quinn. Zalhosaurus, Gorgosaurus liberatus, a close relative of affermented Albertosaurus, which hails from the same formation. And even though these claims have been highly scrutinized, the Australian Tamimus hermani might be a basal tyrannosaur. But its fragmentary nature and potential relation to other Cyrillosaurin groupings makes them highly difficult to classify. As for the Jurassic World trilogy, however, there have been a couple additions to the family of Tyrannosauridae. Starting with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, we are introduced to Tetraphonius curae, a medium-sized Tyrannosaur from Kaiparowitz Formation in the United States. It appears only as a mangled corpse next to the abandoned radio tower, although it was originally supposed to appear in the stampede before being replaced by a juvenile Allosaurus. In the interactive Camp Cretaceous Hidden Adventure, a close relative of the Tyrannosaurus appears as the main antagonist, Tarbosaurus Bataar, has been considered an Asian cousin to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. This theory may obtain more grounding with the discovery of Tyrannosaurus Macronensis, which may serve as an evolutionary link between T. rex and Tarbosaurus. In Hidden Adventure, Tarbosaurus is only an edited Tyrannosaurus rex with more stylized features on its head and back. 
Although not a true member of Tyrannosauridae, the Moros Intrepidus from Jurassic World Dominion still makes this list as an honorable mention. The Moros is a small basal tyrannosaur from the Cedar Mountain Formation, meaning it likely coexisted with Utah Raptor and Syats. Its small appearance in the film could suggest that it's a juvenile. However, unless we see an adult in future installments, the Moros could end up similar to the Dilophosaurus. Tyrannosauroids are a diverse group of dinosaurs that roamed the Earth for the majority of the Mesozoic era. They range from small chicken-like dinosaurs to the largest terrestrial predators the world has ever seen. For now, this ends our list of the Tyrannosaurs seen in the Jurassic franchise, but with hope that story will continue. We hope that more of these tyrant lizards will reach the big screen. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more installments of our new Dinosaurs of Jurassic Park series. Hey Ember Miners, thanks for watching today's video. Be sure to click the subscribe button on your way out and click the bell icon to be notified of our videos when we upload them.